Hi everybody, Liz and Annie here, back again with more tutorials on how to get started using Canvas here at UCR. So today I have a question for you, Annie, about how I, as a person who might be using Canvas for the very first time in the near future, or maybe even this quarter, how would I go about getting my course shell set up in the Canvas platform? So I know that Excite has populated everybody's Canvas URLs with the courses they're assigned to be teaching, and there's some placeholder information in those course shells, but can you walk us through what I actually need versus what I might not need and how I make those determinations as an instructor? Absolutely, Liz. So to do that, I'll go ahead and share my screen. So when you log into Canvas, you land on your dashboard homepage with all of your courses, um, published ones at the top and unpublished ones at the bottom. So if you've never used Canvas, Canvas before, you're going to have everything as unpublished, which basically just means the students can't see it. So I'm going to pretend those published courses of mine don't exist and you'll, you'll see something like this with all your classes. So I'm just going to go into one that has had no, nothing done to it, no work done. So it'll look exactly like what your Canvas page will look like when you log in for the first time. So you go into your course landing page and right now it's set up to have the home page be all of these links to modules that, um, as you mentioned, Excite has pre-entered into your class for you. Um, right now, um, as of April 22, it's just these two modules. One that's a um, set of resources about how best to use Canvas. So if you click on it, you know, you'll see a whole bunch of tutorials, instructions, links about Canvas. But obviously, that's not something that your students really need. So once you are done reviewing this, um, you can go back and that might be something you want to delete. Um, and especially you see it says don't publish the module. So don't let your students see it, even if you want to keep it for your own reference. Um, either way, just don't let the students see it. But let's say you don't want it here at all because you don't want any accidents <laughs> accidentally publishing this for your students. So you are totally fine to just go ahead and delete this. So in order to do that, you just go to your three dot drop down menu right here on the right and you'll see a delete option there. So you can go ahead and just click that, hit OK, and that module is gone. Now, you can repeat the process with the second module, which is, a, again, a pre-populated one with instructions about how to link um, the application poll everywhere with your Canvas class. So this might be of use to you, and we'll cover how to do this integration in a later video. But say you're someone that doesn't use poll everywhere at all, you don't want this either. Go ahead, same steps apply here. Just three, me three dot um, drop down menu, delete, and then it's gone. So now you have a completely blank canvas to start adding in your own materials for your class. Um, and there won't be anything that you didn't intend for students to see. So that's step one, is kind of getting rid of things you don't want that were already here. It's totally okay to do that. Then the other thing you might want to do is going into your settings down here on the lower uh, left hand part of the screen here, go into settings so that you can adjust what students see on this left hand navigation bar over here. Because there are a lot of different options and maybe you don't want your students to see all of those things. So if you want to make some changes, you go into the settings as we just did and then at the top go into navigation. Click that tab and you'll see kind of two sets of information, this smaller set at the top and this um, larger set at the bottom here. So just like with our published and unpublished courses that we saw earlier, the links at the top will show up to students and the ones at the bottom are hidden from students. So if you want only some of these things to be accessible for students, all you have to do is just drag these into this bottom list down here. So for example, let's say you don't have online discussion boards in your class. So you don't want this discussion link right here to show up for your students. All you have to do is just click it and hold, right, to drag it down into drag items here to hide them from students. So now discussions is going to be hidden as soon as I scroll down to the bottom and hit save, right? Never forget that little step. But once you do that, now discussions is gone from the top, right? And it's going to be um, hidden down here. And you can tell it's hidden because it has the eye with a slash through it. So they can't see it, right? So you can make any other adjustments you like to take away things that students can see. Or if you're using additional applications and want students to see them, but it's not the default, you can also just drag things up from down here. So 
maybe you're not using discussion boards, but you are using the application Piazza, which is a different discussion board, you can just click drag Piazza up to the top, and then once again, save it. And then on the sidebar, now Piazza appears for your students to access. So you can make those decisions as instructor of your course. Uh, and that's that's about it for getting started. Everything after this kind of depends on you with um, your particular materials for the class. So we'll cover that in future videos. Okay, thank you.